We've all heard the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. But what does that story have to do with finding exoplanets that could sustain life? To find out, let's take a look at our very nice solar system. Once upon a time, there was a solar system. At the center is the sun. Orbiting around the stars are three bears. Let's put our bears into place. First, there's Papa Bear, who's closest to the sun. They're holding Mercury. Next is Mama Bear, holding Jupiter. Then there's Baby Bear, who has Earth, right in the middle. Now let's bring in Goldilocks. Their first stop is Mercury with Papa Bear. Ooh, that's way too hot. Can't stay here. Goldilocks skips along to Jupiter with Mama Bear, but it's way too cold. Let's see where Goldilocks can go next. Next stop is Earth and Baby Bear. Ah, that's just right. The Goldilocks zone in a solar system is just right for planets to sustain life. But this zone can change depending on the size and temperature of the star in the center. For instance, if the star is a very hot blue giant, then the Goldilocks zone would have to move farther out from where Baby Bear is right now. But if the star were a cooler burning red dwarf, then Baby Bear Earth would have to move closer to sustain life. When searching for the Goldilocks zone, scientists look at both the planets and their stars. Once they find a planet that's just the right distance from its star, they know that planet is in the Goldilocks zone and could, maybe, sustain life. The and. 